Shot. State health officials are warning this flu season could be worse than it has been the last two years. And KZI 9 News reporter Ariel Yakabazi spoke to health officials and some real people about what they are doing as the masks come off, but the illnesses continue. I think that the flu cases are going to be just as high as they were before COVID and after COVID's over. COVID may not be at the front of your mind now, but other respiratory illnesses are making quite the comeback. And then that with COVID combined is like, eh, so. <laughs> Health officials say flu cases are on the rise and even past the typical peak in January. Jason Davis with Lane County Public Health says we're seeing another round of cases. So March and April are really unusual months to have a significant increase in cases. But given the circumstances, yes, I think we do anticipate to see more uh, respiratory illness, including influenza in our community in coming weeks. Davis says there are still a few things that we can do to avoid getting sick now. He says even with mask mandates coming to an end, masking up and staying home when you don't feel well are still good habits. I think it, it points back to the 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 uh, our community really taking that sort of pro health um, respiratory hygiene perspective as we go into our daily lives uh, uh, henceforth. And he says getting vaccinated is also extremely important. Vanita resident John Worley is on top of it this year. It hasn't bothered me so, so much. The flu, as far as that goes, I get my shot. And for those who might think they could get sick from the flu vaccine, the flu vaccine cannot give you flu. Can't but it elicits an immune response and may make you feel a little down and tired, maybe give you, maybe give you a, a stuffy nose or something like that. It's not going to give you flu. You can get a flu shot almost anywhere, from your health care provider to a local pharmacy. Reporting in Lane County, Ariel Yakabazi, KEZI 9 News.